Hello everyone, Acura Amanda here. I'm at the Palm Beach County Health Department at 1150 45th Street. This is over in West Palm Beach, Florida. Um, a few weeks ago, Rogue Nation paid this health department a visit. I don't believe they let him inside to inspect anything, any signs on the wall. So we're going to see if any of those procedures have um, lightened up, so to say. And of course, to um, verify that they're respecting our right to free press. So enjoy, everyone. You're still photogenic. Really? <laughs> wow. Hello. You can get in and you can get leader of inside leader. I'm sorry, what? It's you can't in. get in. How come? What are you, what, it's who are you? Really big. you can do video. Wait, there's too many people talking at the same time. I say, who are you? Um, I'm a member of the press. But you can't come inside the building and take a picture. If you stand outside, you're free to do that. You can't come inside. Is it the camera or my sheer being? No, you can't come inside and take pictures. Why is that? Is this um, public property, sir? Um, you can't be inside here. I'm pretty... Let me get out of their way. I'm pretty sure that I'm fine, sir. I'm just um, trying to inspect the place cards on the wall and I'll be out of here. I don't need services or anything. I'm just with the media. I know, but you can't be inside, inside here to take pictures. Um, is that a law or? Yes, you can be inside. You outside the building, I can't say anything to you. Is that a misdemeanor or a felony to be in here recording <laughs> if it's against the law? What's your name, sir? Uh, you're giving me directives and you're not giving me your name. Well. Allied security, guys. Um, sir, what is the problem with me being here? I mean, this is public hmm? property, sir. Hello. We got the press here inside the building taking pictures. The press. Uh -huh. This is just like the last, um... Now, they say the law is on the outside, but the power from the inside the building, I mean... No. Hmm? Uh, I'll get out of this code. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, if you say she was going to take a picture of the placards on the wall. And I'll be right out of here. I don't need services or anything. Just working on a story. Well, she says she's working on a story. And she went to press. Am I detained or am I free to go, sir? 
All right, so I'm free to stay. I'm just going to um, photograph these placards over here and I'll be out of here. Thank you. What is your name? So I know who I'm speaking with. You're giving me directives? Yeah, I gave you directive. You can't go to the plane. It's, the plane is right here, but... And what's your name? The only thing I can tell you, you can't walk past this night. Is that's this a private area, sir? That's the only thing that's right. See, look at this. Look at number 7 here. You see how she's created this little circle? Yeah, that's private. That's the only thing that's private. See, look at number 7 here. You see how she's creating her own privacy? She's doing a great job. What's your name, sir? So I know who I'm speaking okay, with. It's just question about why here. Okay. Sir, so, sir, so sir, don't make a scene. Sir, sir, sir. I'm gonna sir. tell your supervisor. Thank you. Okay. I appreciate it. I'm fine, sir. Okay. I'm fine. Yeah, for the X ray and blood work. That that that's from the last doctor she sent me. She referred to. All right, guys, they have a private breastfeeding room here. There's a lot of children in here, guys, so I just, um, out of respect for the children, I'm just pointing my camera down. All right, guys, so this is the inner workings of the health department. I'm going to get out of here. Just wanted to do a few photos. Simple as that. Guys, let's wait in the front. And there's a pharmacy to that side. Let's get the pharmacy. A few windows. guys okay all right guys so what was your name again you work do you work here you don't work here? Hello. Hi, who am I speaking with? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Back up. Back up. Back up. Why do I have to leave? Because you have to be screened at the door. I need you over here. Oh, nobody asked me to be screened. Oh. Screened at the door? Okay. And then I can come back in, right? Um, I don't. I'm not here for services. Oh, go ahead. She has a baby stroller. You know, be courteous, ma'am. I'm not nobody's baby. I'm not your baby. Have some respect, ma'am. Okay, so I'm here to be screened. Whoa, you stand back. Ma'am, I'm finished conducting my business. I'm with the media. I came to take a few photographs and then be on my way. That's it. So I, I'm not quite finished yet. I need your name. I need her name. I need his name. And I need the other gentleman's name. Okay, what is your position? Okay, nice to meet you. What is your name? Ma'am? 
You almost touched my camera. I need to know your name so I can file a complaint. Ma'am? Okay. Okay, thank you. Um, my purpose um, being here also is to make you guys aware that under the First Amendment, photography is not a crime. I am perfectly in my realm to be on this public property. I can also inspect the interior of this property. Now, if they did not go about their proper COVID screening protocol, ma'am, that's on them. That's not on me, okay? So I'm, I'm sorry, I'll have to find out about that. Okay. But you should not have been let in the building without going through the screening process. And so you didn't go, who, 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 Okay, now one more question. I need his name right there. The one in the gray hoodie with the cap on. Um, he was giving me directives without um, letting me know who he is. He said he doesn't work here. Does he work here? Okay. Okay, gotcha. All right, thank you. Oh, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm not going to be standing in this line, ma'am, because I don't want to impede anybody's business here. I'm just with the media, with the free press. Okay, we're not going to play this game, ma'am. Thank you. Have a good day. You're dismissed. Have a wonderful day. You're dismissed. I'm fine, okay? Go do your job and I'll do my job. Right, social distance. Bye. Here, look, I'll even stand over here just to give them extra space. All right. A supervisor here her, her supervisor she was she almost put her hands on me and I want to file a complaint against her okay I'm here to do that okay See guys, he was not doing his job when I arrived. He never asked me for my temperature. He never asked me for my temperature, guys. He was not doing his job. My video will prove that. They want to abide by COVID protocol, but they are not practicing COVID protocol. All right, guys, this place obviously has um, a big lack of leadership. 
She's locking the door. They're locking the door, guys. Wow. This is amazing. Okay. Let's see if they're going to serve the public. Oh, no. There they go. They went back inside. Hey, I'm gonna get, um, it's okay, I don't bite. I'm gonna get up on out of here. How can I make a complaint online? Is that possible? Go to the website and what was her name again? Oh, I'll just wait then. I'll stand right here and wait for my complaint. I was gonna leave. I mean, you guys are making it very difficult. the name of pink pants and I'll be out of here all I need is one person's name and I'll be out of here and this is the supervisor guys I'm looking for her name with the pink pants. I'm looking for pink pants' name right there. Then I'll be getting up on out of here. I don't know why they're making this so extremely difficult, guys. All we need is her name, and we'll be getting up on out of here. That's all we need right now. they're actually pink um oh i think i got it they're actually pink overalls
You want to give up her name so I can leave, sir? I don't have all day. Awesome. They why? called you, not me. You're right, but why are you here? Um, I'm with the media and I'm working with the officers and I just came in there today to just photograph placards on the wall and leave. That was it. And um, while I was in there, that woman with the pink um, gloves, she um, almost um, battered me. So I it is my First Amendment right as a free press to be inside of that building, ma'am. It is, Santana. Look at that blue line flag, guys, on her uniform. So, ma'am, can I have your ID, please? No. Do you suspect me of committing a crime? What's your name, ma'am? Do you suspect me of committing a crime? Am I being detained or am I free to go? Public property, ma'am. This is not private they have property. They right to not have you here. They can ask you to leave for any reason. They never asked me to leave, ma'am. Can I have your supervisor, please? We're done talking, ma'am. I'm done talking to her. She's the feelings police. Inside the building, taking pictures and video. Okay. Miss, I was on my way out. I was working on my B-roll film for my investigation, and I'm out of there, okay? okay but I stayed because I would like to know the woman in the pink overall's name so I can file a complaint against her, okay, and I'm out of here. It seems like you're just going around looking for issues or, or reasons to file complaints. Ma'am, when yes. you assume, you make an ass out of yourself, and right now you are making an ass out of yourself. Okay. Can I please have your supervisor? Thank you. Am I detained or am I free to go? You can go. Actually, okay. They want you to leave the property now. Oh, so am I being trespassed from public property? They have the right to trespass you if they from want public to. property. No, they do not, ma'am. They have the right to trespass you from in here. Um, and and first of all, even on a, a private uh, business, you have to be warned first. I was never warned that I was going to be trespassed. I never I'm said on you public were being property. Trespassed. I'm on public property right now. This is not private property. Let me please have your supervisor, ma'am. This is my third time asking you. No problem. Do you know what qualified immunity is, ma'am? Do you know what qualified immunity is? When you violate our rights, you can lose your qualified immunity, ma'am. Who's violating your right? You are right now. How? They are right now. How? They told me to leave a public building. Okay, they have the right to tell you to leave. No, they do not, ma'am. You're ma not here for a doctor's appointment. You're here to take pictures and video. Right, which is my First Amendment right. Not if they don't want you here. Okay, ma'am. Let, right me have your, you to leave. let me have your I'm supervisor. I'm but you keep interrupting me. So, so by me, me so, so I'm go. standing on public property right now, ma'am. So I have to leave public property. What you should do is explain to them that this is my right to freedom of press, ma'am. You called her? You already did? Okay, so he's already called our sergeant. Okay. And let me have your name and badge number, please. Is that what you tell the judge? It's right here? All right, guys, we have an oath breaker right there. Hello. How you doing, ma'am? I'm doing very well. What's your name and your badge number? Santana, officer. 
English antenna, 1772. Man. Thank you. And what is her badge number? She refuses to tell me. I do not know that. I'm you don't know? Okay. We don't know. It's over 300 pounds. So. Oh, okay. No problem. So, you advise you want to know uh, a sergeant to come out? I do because I would like um, somebody higher up to educate this young woman that it is my right to be on this property. This is public property. I'm working on a story. This is my First Amendment right, as you know. Oh, I don't, I don't, I don't answer questions like that. I'm sorry. Why you guys had an issue here before with another photographer? Okay. Okay. What is your supervisor's name? Okay. Okay. I mean, I was, I was pretty much out of there. I'm just working on some B-roll footage, and and that's it. I mean. Um, I, I asked um, the name of the woman with the uh, suspenders, they're pink, she was going to strike me, so I would like to file a complaint against her and get out of here. I really don't have all day. Um, she she um, has like these pink overalls on, Cordu corduroy, really out of style. Yes, a worker. And he refuses to tell me his name too, I mean... That is my right. Oh, to right too. Actually, no. Is he being paid with state or county money? He is, isn't he? So he, his name is um is a public record, ma'am. That's false. When you're dealing with public property, all of that stuff goes out the window. I'm a private person. He's not a private person. He's working for the people right now, just like you are, ma'am. And this gentleman right here as well. Which he's been really nice to me, actually. He identified himself. He gave me his badge number. And, I mean, I can't see his face, but it looked like he had a smile. I appreciate that. Well, I don't, I don't release that information. Then I'm gonna give up like everything about my story. But it's, it's related to COVID, and it's related to the traffic flow okay, in and okay. out of here. And that I'm just doing some B-roll. And just to let you know, when I walk back in there, just out of courtesy, I don't need to do this. I held my camera to my feet so I would not get any minors. Yes, sir. Okay, I appreciate that. Anytime. Hello. I hear crickets. He said hello to you. Oh, maybe it's the mask. How are you? What's your name? And, what's your name and badge number? Excuse me. Your name and badge number. What's your name? I don't answer questions. Okay. But you do. You work for the public. I work for the West Palm Beach Police Department, ma'am. How can I help you? Right, the West Palm How Beach. Can I, help you, ma I. Are you the supervisor? How can I help you? Are you the supervisor? How can I I don't answer questions. She ask questions, but she doesn't answer questions. Right, exactly. Are you here for official business? Yes, I am. What's that business, That's covered under the First Amendment. I'm a member of the press and media. I just needed one. Does she have an appointment here? No. I don't need an appointment. She I don't need services. Photographs and videoing. You're like, everybody you can't, very uncomfortable. You can't violate people's HIPAA rights. Yes, you understand. Oh, sir, don't get me started. HIPAA does not apply to me. HIPAA applies to them, sir. They have to create their own privacy. That does not apply to me. So that's not going to work either. Yeah, she's on her way. And all I needed, sir, before I left was one individual's name so I could file a complaint against them. They almost struck me. And that was it. I would have been out of here probably like 15 minutes ago. I would have been out of here. I have a lot of stuff to do today. I don't have all day. Woo, it's windy out here. Kind of cold. Woo. She's cold. She needs a sweater. So who who um gives you guys the right to wear that flag, that desecrated flag on your uniform? That should be the American flag. You got one too? You're covering it up. I'm holding my vest like I always do. 
Okay, so how long on your uh, supervisor? As long as it takes her to drive there. Safely, according to traffic rules. You know how many of you guys I've caught speeding on my dash camera or have a legal tint? Like, I feel like you guys are the sovereign citizens, you know? The laws don't apply to you guys. Uh, I can argue. I have a lot of um, footage that would would show otherwise. All oh, right. And I didn't get your name. What was your name? What's your name? I don't answer questions. All right, I'll be filing a complaint against you. Thank you. Anytime. Is that what you do to go around and file complaints on everybody? I don't answer questions. That's her car or his car. That's the gentleman that will not identify. This is his car. Car number 2180. Currently back outside. That's actually our car. That's our car. We the people. Yeah, we are too, and we don't like your knees on our necks. Boy, these people are making me angry. You gotta close your computer, sir. You see, I could teach you a thing or two. Yeah, he called the feelings police today, guys. He's so sorry.
right now. This is really good to zoom in on your computers when stupid cops leave their computers open. Wonderful. All right, guys, so this is the sergeant. Hello. He's even got the blue line flag um, behind his vest, too. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Okay. I'm good right here. All right, guys. These cops are very suspicious, right? All right, and that's car number 2205. Okay, she doesn't have her computer in there. They're doing a piggy huddle. I hope she's explaining to them that this is my right to free press being here. These crybabies. Look at these crybabies. Bunch of crybabies. Oh, guys. she's calling right now Oh, now she put her mask on because her boss is here. Interesting, guys. who she's talking to.
he's on the phone too, guys. All right. So we have his name. We're, we're gonna FOIA um, whoever he's calling right now. We're gonna get um, that information. We're also gonna get her information as well. Oh, this is taking too long, guys. I gotta get out of here. Extremely slow. Um, hi, I need his name and badge number, please. I'll be filing a complaint against him. Um, he refused to identify himself and he was a little bit rude. Um, so that's my first thing I would need help with. Second, um, that young, um, or that woman officer right there, she explained to me that I was going to be trespassed from this property. Um, I would like you to educate her that I am a member of the press and this is my First Amendment right to be on public property. What I was doing is just working on a story. I went in there, I filmed a few place cards on the wall um, out of uh, respect for the minors in there when I walked past the patients. I had my camera like this just out of respect. While I was in there, this woman with pink pants, she almost assaulted, battered me. So I was standing out there to get her name so I could leave because I was on my way out anyway. And they refused to identify her for my complaint. Okay. So that's all I needed help with. And I mean, I'm pretty much out of here. I have, um, you need help. well, have you identified yourself to the facility, this establishment that you're press? I have you shown any credential that you're part of the press? I do not need to show credentials, ma'am. I have credentials, but I do not need to show credentials, and so I am not under required under the First Amendment to show credentials. Are you saying that I am? I, I, I'm going to say what I'm going to say. Don't ask me what I'm saying. If I don't say it to you, then I'm not saying it, okay? Okay. I don't need you to tell me anything like that. First of all, if they, if they ask you for credentials, then you don't have to show them. They did not ask me. Okay. Do you have credentials to present to them if they do but they did not ask me. No, ma'am. You have credentials. Yes, I do. Okay. So they didn't ask you. Did they ask you to leave? Um, he, one of the um the security guards, uh -huh. he said I cannot be in there. But he got on the phone, spoke to somebody, and then let me freely record in there. Now they said I had to step out because I did not check my temperature. Now that is not my responsibility that well, their you, staff members did not check my temperature. Okay. So that was the actually, problem they, they said. They leave because they didn't check your temperature. Did you willingly allow them to check your temperature to remain in there? Not only that, but I, I, I left as well out of courtesy. So you, asked, you did leave the building when they asked you to leave? Absolutely, yes okay. I did ma'am. And my video will show that. Okay, so now what is, what is the information that you need? I need the woman with the pink pants. I need her name and I need his name why, and badge why, number. Why do you need her name? What happened with that? I'm filing a complaint against her with the health department because she lunged at me ma'am. I will have the, 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 the staff would have to get you that name. I don't have any control of that. What else do you need? That's all I need, and his name and badge number. And that is Officer Archer. What Archer? Yes, ma'am. Okay, what's his badge number? Uh, what's your ID number? 1679. 1679, anything else? Thank you, that's all I need. Okay, now that you are finished with your business here, am I correct? Yes, ma'am, I'm getting it out of here. All right.
But question, yes, if I wanted to stay here and wait for you guys to leave, would that be a problem with you? Yes, it is, because they've asked you to leave. You're finished with your business. There's no need for you to wait for us to leave. Now, I appreciate it. it came Since in you've in gotten what you needed, you've gotten information, I'm asking you now that since you're finished doing your due diligence as a freedom to press, I was caught in by the security. Well, I'm not going to leave until you guys leave, and I'm going to stand right here. I'm still on public property. I'm done with this. Side. This is public property, ma'am. Okay, well, I'm. This is. This is still a parking lot, and it's considered private property. So, therefore, ma'am, if you want to stay, go out to the public, please go out there and stand out there, okay? So, am I being trespassed from this property? Well, or warned? This way. You said you're finished. Am I'm I not finished until you guys are finished. You're not finished with what? What are you doing here? Part of my uh, duties as the press, I also record no, the no, police no, too, ma'am. No, so I'm going to wait for you guys absolutely. to leave absolutely. and I'll be out of here. So I'm not followed out of here. I'm, I'm asking you to leave the park. And if I don't, what will happen? Well, ma'am, I'm asking you to leave. You don't want to leave? If I do not... If you don't, if you, not one are you refusing to leave i'm not answering that if i am under threat of arrest i will leave am i under threat of arrest if you do not leave because i'm asking you to leave you will be arrested for trespassing okay okay and what is your name and badge number again i just told you that one more time you can leave now okay miss miss bell under threat of arrest i will be filing a complaint against Absolutely. you Absolutely. and possibly intent to sue Absolutely. okay all right guys they threatened to arrest me we gotta we gotta serve them next guys